Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video for you on a new fixed blade from Lion Steel. Uh, let's show it to you first of all, I guess, in the sheath. So we are looking at the Lion Steel T6, um, sort of a, a bigger brother to the Lion Steel T5. It kind of lands in between, I guess, the T5 and the T7. Let me give you a quick rundown on the specs here. This is just a first impression. So I'm not gonna, you know, this is not gonna be a bunch of testing and uh, a full review like I normally do. That will come, we'll do that. But for now, let me just say, um, as usual from Lion Steel, really, really nice looking design, great materials, excellent fit and finish. Now, not as usual, I want you to take a look at the steel here. This is K490 steel. So not a stainless steel, but very, very tough, very, very high abrasion resistance. For a knife like this, that's sort of a survival type knife, a large fixed blade, I wouldn't call it a chopper. So here it is in my hand. The blade's about six inches long. All right. I, I want to throw in just a couple of quick comparisons to give you a sense for the size on this knife. Um, it looks big and in my hand, it's, it's definitely a big knife, but let me quickly throw in the Becker BK9 and then my favorite knife, one of my favorite knives of all time, my Lion Steel M4. All right, certainly see the uh, the Moletta influence on the T6 design there. Um, so uh, what we have here is a knife that is 11 and a half inches overall, six inches on the blade, seven sixteenths thick. So big, thick, crazy blade stock with a beautiful crown spine there. It's gonna be hard for me to stay focused. It keeps wanting to look at those trees, which I get. Nicely done micarta handle. Again, that crown spine continues all the way through the handle, which is milled to drop that blade into. So you can see here, you know, these are not two slabs. This is one piece of micarta that's milled to accommodate this blade. And then it's screwed on with these torque screws here. Lanyard hole, extended tang for doing some bashing or using a fire steel. All right, both are... Um, both are, are good op or both are possible with that extended tang. Um, don't know the weight on this guy yet, but I will come back with a, when I get to the full review, I'll talk a little more about the weight of this and, and we'll do a little more testing for now. I tried to find a couple little sticks that are out here. There's not much. I'm actually surrounded by, um, cedars, which are not ideal for the kind of video we're making right here, but what the heck, we got a stick here. Let's do a little bit of cutting. Wood's kind of wet and soft and the camera doesn't want to, there we go. All right, uh, initial thoughts on the T6, really, really big, heavy duty, you know, survival sort of outdoor type of knife. Uh, a bit big and heavy for, for some fine bush crafting, but pretty well balanced. Like you could get it, you could get it to do that kind of work. Um, more of a survival style knife and pretty well done in terms of, of how that goes. Great steel choice here, really, really excited to, to get some use on this steel and see how it holds up by all accounts. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, really nice sheath as well. Let me just pop this guy back in here before we finish things up. So Kydex sheath, really nice retention. Straps here, you can see, you can just pop this onto a belt if you want to, or you can weave this through molly webbing or something on a backpack. And then it also has this lanyard that you could use to, uh, either one, you could use it to tie a lanyard here on the knife, or you could tie this onto your leg if you're wearing this on a belt. So, quick rundown on the Lion Steel T6. So far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, as I say, once I get some time with it, I'll come back with a full review. Review For now, if you want to pick one of these up, go check out White Mountain Knives. Use my discount code SHARPSTUFF. They did have some in stock when I recorded this, so hopefully they're still there. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will talk to you soon.